This is what is included in this purchase. You will receive a white teen or slash boy character that is fully rigged inside of Blender. It has 10 custom beautifully made poses and the renders are super duper quick around 11 seconds in cycles and then three seconds in Eevee. And this is the wireframe. All right, thanks for sticking through the intro. If you're wondering about any part of the video, just check out the timestamps in the description. I mentioned everything that's important about this character in the, tie, in the whole video. Just check out the timestamps. This character was made in Blender 3.2. To get it, just simply go on Blender, Blender.org. Uh, go under Downloads and just get Blender 3.21. It should also work with older versions like 3.0, 3.1, uh, and even the 3.3, 3.4 versions that will come in the future. So it should work fine. Everything should be awesome. All right, now we're at the checking out the rig part of the video. Pretty detailed rig, you can use it in animations, making poses, games, whatever you are interested in. This is how it looks. You can see here we have a mouth, we can like open it up. We can have a tongue if you want to move this. And uh, we can make him smile, which is great. We can puff up the cheeks in case he does something like eat some gum. Uh, we can uh, close the eyes blink without any issue we can look around where we want to move the eyebrows up and you can do whatever you want there move the head the hair a tiny bit no actually the hair not facial tweaks you can tweak stuff the body is also awesome as well uh, the leg you can walk you can do a lot of stuff everything is great All right, now we're at the changing poses part of the video. It's fairly simple stuff. Go under this bone, this green person by selecting the character and just click on pointing left and then this one and then this one and then this one. You can basically change and it should work great. In case you change and it looks something like this where we have this selected and then we change poses and you can notice that nothing changes. This is because you're only changing the layers for this square. Just make sure you go into a pose mode and make sure you have nothing selected and pressing G, nothing moves. So make sure that happens. And now if we change poses, you can see they switch awesomely. So just make sure you have nothing selected while changing poses. Uh, you can also change the poses from the asset browser by converting to a pose asset, but currently it's still, I guess, under development, the poses, look kind of weird so you might need to adjust them but you can also convert them to a pose asset and then once that happens you can use them from the asset browser and you can see them here and then you can change the poses by just dropping them in or selecting but that's something you need to research yourself but that's something you can do if you wish okay now we're at the exporting render part of the video it's fairly basic stuff. Just choose the pose you want and then just choose the render engine you want. So in case of mine, I will take cycles and just click on render image. Wait until it renders. In my case, it's going to be around 11 seconds. We're going to wait for that. Okay, the image is rendered and all looks awesome. We can just click on save as and then save wherever we want it to be saved. So that's great. 